Well, uh, in just a bit, we are going to meet with the author of The Companies We Keep. It's a fabulous book, and I'm sure you've heard of it. There are some fascinating stories in there, uh, unbelievable stories that you're going to want to hear about. We're going to say more on that. <laughs> We're back right here on Wake Up Today. Now, amazing stories about Hawaii, its people, and its places. Well, you can find them all in a series of books penned by author and professor Bob Siegel, who joins us now this morning. Hi, Bob. Good morning. Nice to see you. So, you have three books called The Companies We Keep. And uh, they're actually quite famous, number one Hawaii bestsellers, and we have a few here. Um, tell us a little bit about what inspired you to write some of these books. They were an accident. I gave my students at Hawaii Pacific University an assignment to go out and meet business leaders, and they came back with so many great stories that it led to the first book, and that opened the floodgates for people to come to me with great stories. So for people that haven't seen it before, um, can you describe what they will find in it. There are amazing stories about Hawaii people, places, and companies. For instance, I found out in working on book three that Hawaii had schools 15 years before California did. Mm -hmm. Wow, and so we're going to dive into uh, some of the things that are featured in your most recent book, book number three, and uh, one of them is how Senator Inouye was mistaken for the King of Siam at the White House dinner in 1959. And so tell us a little bit about that. Well, he said that uh, the day that he was sworn in as a junior congressman, the first uh, American of uh, Asian ancestry in Congress, he received an invitation to the White House for a dinner that week and was sen uh, with uh, Nikita Khrushchev, the Soviet premier. And he said that uh, he had to rent a tuxedo and a limousine. And as his car was pulling up through the White House gate, he could hear them whispering, the guards, the hell is that? <laughs> and the other guy said, I think it's the King of Siam. And we have a photo. So is that Senator Inouye? This, this is Senator Inouye uh, last year. Uh, okay. And uh, the next photo. In the black and white there. I took uh, Yul Brenner's face off of oh, this okay. picture from the King and I. And I put Senator Inouye on okay, instead. Okay, I see. All right, well, moving on, another feature is that uh, you say that many in Hawaii don't know that the USS Missouri has a, a relationship with Kalaupapa. Yes, uh, there's an island community that has a very close relationship that goes back to 1908 and an earlier USS Missouri. Uh, there was a man who lived there, bro brother Joseph Dutton, who had served in the Civil War, and he wrote to President Teddy Roosevelt, and he said, I heard your great white fleet was going to be coming to Hawaii. It's on a part of an around-the-world 42,000-mile voyage. Could they stop and pay their respects to the people of Kalapapa, who feel like they are unknown to the world, forgotten by the United States, and they would really appreciate that uh, the U.S. fleet would stop, the Great White Fleet, and he said yes. So the people of Kalapapa uh, were the first in the islands to receive them. They then went to Lahaina and then to Honolulu, where you just showed a picture that they parked off of a Waikiki because Pearl Harbor hadn't opened yet. Oh my gosh, so interesting. And finally, students at McKinley High School, they raised enough money to buy a B-24 bomber for the military? Their initial goal was $100,000 in 1942. Okay. They ended up making $360,000 through selling war bonds, which is the equivalent of about $4.5 million in today's dollars. And they gave a check to the military and they bought a B-24 bomber called uh, Madame Pelly. They have a picture of the volcano on the side of it and Madame Pelly coming out of it. Can you imagine the students of a school raising that much money today? It just shows you when you're sufficiently motivated you can do anything. So what did they do with the plane? Uh, it served during World War II and it was recycled into pots and pans oh after World goodness. War II. Well Bob, thank you so much for stopping by. Now one of the things that you're also famous for um, within the book and also on the back cover, Who Dat? Yes. And it's pictures of local celebrities. High school yearbook high school. pictures, and one of them was a reporter for KHON, Ron Mizutani, down at the bottom right. <laughs> I also have Alan Wong uh, at the top left, and... Uh, Jake Shimabukuro. Right. Oh Jason Scott Lee, Karen Keavi, Hawaii. And so you have to just figure out who that is. Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right, Bob. Well, thank you so much. Check it out. The Companies We Keep, Volumes 1 through 3, and you're working on number 4 right now. That's right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having nice me. Nice to meet you. We'll be right back on Wake Up Today. We've got top headlines for you. And, of course, more traffic on the twos on this morning.